Hi guys, so you want to be able to start and stop the recording of your Sony cameras remotely from a distance? Well, one option here is to use the Sony grip here. Now it's pretty expensive, so it should be good, right? Well, let's find out in this video. So this grip has a rather catchy name and it is, let me just read it out, it's the Sony GPVPT2BT. Seriously, it's the Sony GPT2BT. So try saying that when you've had a few. Now, the Sony marketing department were having a little bit of a laugh when they named this product because they obviously wants it memorable. So this grip retails for around about £100 or so and are definitely some cheaper alternatives available. So in this video, I'm going to give you my honest thoughts and feedback, what I think of this Sony grip. Now, I've bought this with my own money, so it's not actually um, sponsored by Sony in any way at all. They have absolutely no knowledge of this video. It's just basically a, a person buying the, cat, the grip and just giving their unbiased feedback. All right, let's get straight into it. So first of all, let's discuss the build quality of this Sony grip. Now it's got a really strong plastic, um, it's really hard and it definitely looks like it's quite robust and it's gonna take a, quite a bit of a battering. It's also got a really quite nice feel around the fingers and it's definitely very comfortable with holding it with the hand. So I think it definitely ticks the box in terms of being a really good little grip. So it's definitely suitable for something like this, which is a Sony ZV-1 or even a ZV-E10. Now this grip not only offers uh, the ability to handhold it, but also has a built-in tripod. So if we extend the legs just like this, we can see that you can actually then support the camera. However, there's no actually ability to actually change the height of the legs at all. It's pretty much, uh, this is what you get, and this is the height that is available to you. Now at the top, there is a push button for changing the angle of the grip like this or changing the angle of the camera and it locks in a certain position so you can hold it like this or I set it like this for example or you can set it like this or like this and it locks in position so that's really nice and there's also another button um, just here which allows you to twist the actual angle of uh, the camera so like 90 degrees or if I actually tighten up it would help um, to turn press the button again and it allows you to turn it 180 degrees back on itself so that's a really nice feature that's actually included on this grip now on to the actual important part about the wireless control now there are actually two um, buttons on the control one is the actual button on the left here which allows you to take a uh, photo uh, remotely and also the red button here is obviously for starting and stopping a video recording we also have a little lever here or slider which allows you to control the zoom on the camera so you can zoom in um, if you want or you can also zoom out uh, with a telephoto lens so that's a really nice feature and it's already built onto the zv1 so i've got a, a sort of built-in lens for zooming in and zooming out another button here is uh, the uh, c1 button which is a custom button and that depends on what you have configured on your sony camera in terms of the custom c1 button so for example, I've got mine set to um, auto exposure. So if I press this button, I can actually then, not auto exposure, I've got it set to lock exposure. So if I actually hold the button in, I can actually lock the exposure to whatever I'm pointing about. And also we have another button here, which is the just basically a way of being able to lock the controls so you can not accidentally press the buttons. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the controls. Now, one of the main abilities that you really want for the, with this grip is the ability to remotely control the camera and that's the reason why you bought it but unfortunately it doesn't seem to work reliably so I find that sometimes the buttons work okay but other times I can press it and just the camera just doesn't respond at all even when it's within the bluetooth distance so I've got it literally maybe like a, a meter maximum and it just doesn't seem to trigger the start of the recording of the camera so that's a really big of a letdown and, I, and I've changed the batteries and things like that so I just can't seem to get it to actually uh, work reliably enough um, so I mean that's the reason why I bought it and, and the, probably the reason why you're going to buy it too is you want to be able to remotely control the camera otherwise it's basically just a grip so um, in terms of the price for this so sort of a hundred pounds so it's, it's a nice grip certainly it's a nice little tripod but it's certainly not worth the money um, if you can't get the remote control uh, features to, to work at all so I can't really recommend this grip at all for a purchase. There's plenty of uh, cheaper alternatives available uh, as well. So, you know, for me, it's a big thumbs down for this particular grip. 
you know, it's a bit of a shame because um, if I, uh, I, you know, I would have really quite liked this grip, and I think it, you know, if it worked, it's probably certainly worth the money. But obviously, without the remote control features, it's uh, pretty useless, really. All right, guys. So that's pretty much my review for the Sony Grip here. As I said, I don't think it's actually worth the money, and I suggest you perhaps consider some other cheaper alternatives. Hope that's useful for anybody considering the Grip. Um, so if it is, of course, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more reviews and tips and tricks like this. Take care, and I shall see you soon.